What an episode, guys. What is going on? Chu here, bringing you another review on Attack on Titan. This episode was pretty emotional. One of the most emotional episodes we have had. You know, going in deep to the Grisha memories. And holy crap, was this pretty weird and pretty hectic to just take in. But remember, guys, if you have not subscribed or liked the video or commented even let's do all that continue supporting the channel it would help out tremendously and let's get to it so we start the episode off with seeing baby Aaron baby Aaron being very adorable and having him in the arms of his father and his mother just kind of nice but of course we have Zeke and Aaron watching from afar these are again the memories of Grisha that's what should have been the name of this episode, The Memories of Grisha. But we have Aaron glaring at his father. Like, throughout most of this episode, we see that Aaron is just angry. And we see that way more throughout the end of the episode. And we also get to see Zeke as he sees his father having this new life. Forgetting about, or at least what it seems to look like. He's forgotten his family back home. And he sees it with Aaron with jealousy as a child. Uh, that's just kind of what you kind of pick up on throughout this episode. We see how he's very, uh, I guess you could say, conflicted with seeing his younger brother having all the attention and love that he never got. Uh, we see little moments here, snippets of Aaron as he's slowly growing up, him going around everyone, which is nice. And just seeing all these memories. But we then start to get into when Aaron's older and things start to really pick up when it comes to Grisha and his mission. We also have this moment where when he was by himself, uh, Grisha was actually crying and calling for Zeke's name. And weirdly enough, he's able to see Zeke, but obviously no one was there. He thinks it's a dream. And this is interesting because this is the first time ever that we're seeing Grisha making mention of his name and you know basically behind the scenes stuff with Grisha you know him suffering missing his son obviously his first wife everything that he left behind in order to complete his mission but love and having family kind of changed that Aaron even talks about how he was never really even controlled by his father he's always lived with whatever he wanted to do and he's actually right. We see that throughout this episode, you know, with all these little moments where, you know, he actually wanted to save Mikasa. Not necessarily because it was Mikasa, but it was because he didn't want his feel his freedom to be stolen. And he killed those men. And, you know, he, he looks back at that moment, which for Mikasa, it was a very life-changing moment. But Aaron was very serious, and he even watches as this happened. And, you know, Zeke is actually watching this with curiosity. But what really turns the tables was the fact that we actually have Aaron wanting to become part of the Survey Corps. Which was something that Carla was very much against. And we had uh, Grisha talk about the curiosity that people have. Uh, he says he was also going to leave uh, for a couple of days because he was going to be out in the woods with some helping there and that he was actually going to show Aaron what was in the basement. Obviously we know it now is in there and we actually saw him writing down what was in there and he showed him the key. But I think that as the memories get harder and more emotional, he becomes more self-aware of what's actually happening. He actually probably sees Aaron and sees Zeke and just doesn't address it because he thinks it's that this is just a flashback or just kind of some kind of weird thing he only he could see but he goes into there into the hiding which he had seen many many months ago or even years ago and he goes in and he wants to accomplish his goal he wants to first plead his case about what is going on you know that he's an Eldian just like them they're subjects of Ymir and the royal blood family you know, starts telling Frida, you know, you have to kill this man. And he doesn't want to do it. He does not want to kill children. He doesn't want to do this. 
and he has basically a moment of weakness where he couldn't do it and Frida was actually kind of on his side in that sense like that she didn't want to fight she didn't want to kill him but Aaron pushed him to do it we see that Aaron was the reason why he actually did it he ends up killing everyone takes the ability and we have Grisha basically losing it having a mental breakdown in the woods saying Aaron are you happy he, he realizes at this point that this is actually real he sees Zeke talks to Zeke and hugs him and for the first time Zeke is crying we had not seen him crying like this calling him his father and just hearing Grisha's final words here is like telling him to stop Aaron Aaron has been basically the threat from the beginning and it's just crazy because then after that he gets pulled back into the paths and we have Aaron just standing over him so this is some crazy stuff I really love this episode let me know what you guys think I'd love to know your thoughts as always I'll stay safe and I'll catch you later